Twosome is actually one of the first problems on the infamous LeetCode website. It originated from Fang, but I've had colleagues interviewed for this in upcoming startups even in the past year. So in this lesson, we will look at the problem statement along with its naive solution as well as an efficient implementation. So let's go. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to take an array of numbers and a target value and then return the indices of the two numbers within that array that add up to that target value. The problem statement also comes with some assumptions that there will always be exactly one solution and you shouldn't use the same element and therefore the same index twice. And we've talked about this in other coding interview questions as well. The first thing that you should do is to come up with some examples and verify that you are on the right track. So with this array 2, 7, 11, 15, we are searching for two numbers that add up to the target value of 9. The two numbers are 2 and 7 and the indices for these numbers is what we return which is 0 and 1. The next step of course will be to write a function that has the signature of our desired inputs and outputs. We have the twosum function that takes a number array and a target number value and then returns a tuple of the two indices that are found. Now right now we are getting an error because we are not returning anything but we can fix that by throwing an error in case nothing is found and this is something that we can leave in the function indefinitely but it really shouldn't happen based on our assumption that exactly one solution does exist. Now let's look at a simple correct solution for this problem. Fundamentally we will loop through all of the elements except for the last one and for every loop iteration we will loop through all of the remaining elements in the array and see if this particular element and any of those elements add up to the target value. This satisfies the constraint that we don't end up returning the same index twice as index 2 starts after index 1. This plus 1 is also the reason why we stop with length minus 1. And our final condition is pretty simple. If 1 plus 2 is equal to the target, then we return the tuple of index 1 and index 2. Now as mentioned this is a correct solution to the given problem statement and would be perfectly fine for most real world use cases. However, it's not the optimal solution in terms of time complexity. Fundamentally, we are looping through the array twice resulting in a time complexity of O of n squared. So let's look at a solution where we only need to loop through the array once. And we've seen this secret to removing double loops in previous coding interview questions as well and that is to use a hash based data structure like map. With this particular map we are going to maintain the invariant that for any number that we have seen what is the index for that number in the input array. And then we will loop through the input array only once and for any number we will see if we have already seen the complement of that number that gets us that target value. If the map already contains the complement then we will return the complement index as well as the index for this number and that will be our solution. Otherwise we will continue with the next number but before we do that we need to maintain that invariant that num2 index contains the index for this particular number. So now we have a single loop with the time complexity of O of 1 thanks to the magical property of hash maps to store and get values in constant time. So now the time complexity of the overall algorithm is O of n. Now just to hammer the correctness of this algorithm home we will look at numbers one by one and store them into num2 index. And if at any point we have seen a number known as the complement that combined with the current number gives us the target value, we have found our answer and that is what we return. I'll wrap things up there. Smash the like and subscribe for more tutorials to help you excel in software development. For example, here are some more coding interview questions. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.